you doing well? Are you taking your time? Do you carry your heart? Heavy as mine. Are you walking the long road? Or trying to fly? Oh, I always thought you'd be the one by my side. Hello my stars, welcome to my channel, Goddess of Stars Tarot. It's your girl Karen and I'm so excited to welcome my Aquarius back to my channel. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I do want to let you know this is a general reading and it's not going to resonate with each and every star. So take what does and leave the rest. If this reading doesn't resonate, please check with your sun, your moon, your rising and your Venus. Also too, don't forget if it does resonate, don't forget to support your girl by clicking like, share, subscribe, commenting down below to support your girl thank you thank you thank you guys so we're gonna get into this read and my website is in the works guys that will be up and running but in the meantime between time if you want to book with your girl you can just send me an email the email information is down in the description box below website should be up by tomorrow but there's still some last minute things that i want to add to the site so just have patience with moi I will notify you guys um, on the uh, post tab uh, when the site is up and running. So, my stars, all right? We got our coffee, so we ready. We ready for this read, okay? So, the first card that came out in my pre-meditation, and normally I like to do this while I'm recording, but I was like, there's a message here. So, I just can't not have this energy here. So, the message is someone starting over right the the message is this is a time of new opportunities to take place for someone this energy is about maybe even having to you know do away with some things that could be a relationship that could be a job that could be a friend that could be anything right maybe it could even be restructuring yourself but the overall energy is about regeneration. There's a rebirth taking place. Something had to end in order for something new to take place. So this is a new beginning and it's right in alignment with the new year, right? So it could be a new year, new me type energy for some of you here. But this vibe is all about second chances, having another opportunity to do something. Okay, so it's like when one door closes, another one opens excuse me, type of energy here that's taking place for you. So let's let's dive a little bit deeper and see what else is going on here for my Aquarius. Let's see, Aquarius energy. What is the energy here for Aquarius? What is it that Aquarius needs to know at this time? What is it that Aquarius needs to know at this time? What is it that Aquarius needs to know at this, at this time? What's the message? Thank you. All right, so let's see what that is. Okay, so we have to be fair. Okay, so this is about things balancing out for you, Aquarius, right? You can see this person balancing out two scale, scales here. So you're starting over and this has a lot to do with trying to balance things out in your life, maybe to make things right here um, that maybe for some of you, you felt that wasn't right in your life. But this is about considering all options, considering everything, putting everything out on the table and seeing what direction you need to go in with a particular situation, right? For some of you here, this could be starting over because of legal matters, right? There could be legal matters taking place here in your life and you're just trying to balance the scales with that situation so this could look like a divorce starting over and maybe going through some legalities behind that for some of you here this could be stemming from like trying to fight over a child here you know trying to plan as far as like uh, co-parenting goes in that situation so something here is about balancing the scales in your life okay let's see give me one more from this deck what's the message What's the message? Thank you. All right. So we also have deep knowing. So the message is about listening to self, right? Following your intuition at the end of the day, going with what feels right emotionally, right? Deep knowing is pretty much using discernment in situations, but also too, it's, it's telling you here, you know what it is that you need to do. All you have to do is just follow your intuition. So I feel like this message is, is 
very, very particular for someone here, okay, that is, is going through a phase in their life where they need to start over, okay? So let's dive a little bit deeper and see what is happening here. I'm being told to go straight <laughs> to the tarot, so that is what we are going to do. So let's use this deck here. What is the message here? Okay, so just cut the deck. We have the wheel, the wheel of fortune. So this energy represents change, right? This could even be destiny. This could be representing faith here for someone. Going through some particular change that is about to take place or who has a, or which has already happened, right? It's some type of turning point. For some of you here, this is about some type of cycle in life or needing to take some type of risk or some type of chance. Something needs to happen. A change either occurred, will occur, or has to occur is what this energy is representing here for someone. So let's see what else. What's the message here you have? Thank you. All right, so we have the... Look at that, the justice card. So, but the justice card came out in the reverse, guys, okay? So the message here is about balance, right? Having to balance the scales in a situation. And look, I tell you, when I do my readings, you already know the energy is going to coincide, all right? It's lit over here. But it's, it's about lack of accountability in a situation or feeling like something is not right, something's not fair, something's not just uh, for some of you here. And this is the situation that needs to change, okay? It could even be surrounded dishonesty but overall something is not balanced that needs to be balanced and the message here for you is it needs to change it has to change in order to be in alignment with the things that you need to be in alignment with the blessings that you need to be in alignment with and that could be the reason why things hasn't been going the way that you want it to go because things are unbalanced right maybe even forcing situations that shouldn't even be in your life right because you feel that it's right but your spirit guides is telling you no this situation is not right for you all right so we have the four swords and the four swords came out in the reverse all right let's see what's going on with this deck all right so the four swords came out in the reverse hmm all right so this is a time to this is not a time for rest right this is not a time for rest this is a time for you to actually take action towards the things that actually matter this is the time to do here is what the message is with this four swords energy could be representing for some of you here maybe even if you were feeling restless at some point in the situation uh or feeling anxiety for some of you you may be feeling anxiety with this four swords uh flipped in the reverse but the message overall is to get out of your head stop overthinking the situation and to take action towards the things that is going to make things right for you in your life okay so I strongly feel for some, yep, look at that, two of pentacles. Time to make a decision. Didn't we say in the beginning here, this is about balancing this, the scales, considering what all of your options are, two of pentacles. Cut the deck, two of pentacles. So representing here for you, Aquarius, now is the time to make a decision. Balance out the scales, take your time to reevaluate what it is that you truly want and actually make a decision, okay? That decision may even look like compromise here for some of you, right? Especially if you're dealing with a legal matter, it may require you to look at some things and compromise, but compromise in a way that it may, may make it seem as though, you know, you are, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, wanting to break bread, you know, but you're still winning in the end is what the message is. Okay. So I feel like it's about balancing some situations out here for you, Aquarius. So let's get into it. What's the message? Give me some more messages here for Aquarius. Thank you. All right. So we have the King of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles that came out. This card is wanting to come out so bad because I've seen it so many times. So we also have here the Six of Pentacles. All right, so now's the time to receive Aquarius, okay? Now is the time to receive. This is about bossing up. So what I'm seeing for a lot of you Aquarius is stability in this situation, right? Enjoying life's pleasures, in a situation here that is happening in your life. So even though you may be feeling like, wow, everything is not going the way that it's supposed to go, it's telling you here to have faith, right? But in order for you to reach out in the end, you know, ahead, it's about balancing the scales. You have to balance the scales. Something here within your life or within a situation is not 
balance and it needs to change. You have to make a decision. You have to lay all your cards out on the table, Aquarius. This change needs to happen in order for you to be successful because I, I see this. I didn't, didn't even think I said that right, but successful. But I see this here happening for you. I'm getting tongue-tied. I see this happening here for you with this King of Pentacles. This is a boss move. This is about being practical in this situation, okay? But being practical in a way that is going to lead you to success. Detaching yourself from an emotional state and putting yourself in a practical state in order for you to gain the whatever this may look like for you, but it means success. It means stability. It means consistency. It means support. It means reaching all of your goals here, Aquarius, okay? Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles couldn't ask for more, okay? This is about actually being self-sufficient, enjoying life, actually enjoying all of your hard work that you've put into something. So Aquarius is telling you to go after your dreams. Do not sell yourself short. Go after the things that you truly desire, that you truly feel that you deserve, right? And if a situation is not getting you that, right, it could be a relationship for some of you here. Maybe feeling like things is not fair in this situation. It could be a one-sided relationship here. That's why we have to be fair, but it's telling you in this situation, you know that you deserve more, right? So why put yourself in a situation that's not balanced, that's not right, that's not fair, that may come with dishonesty, someone here not holding, taking accountability for their actions. It's telling you this needs to change. You need to make a decision. It's time to balance that skill out. It's time to take action towards the things that you truly deserve here, which is this King of Pentacles and this Nine of Pentacles. You also have the Six of Pentacles here, which is about receiving now is the time to receive with the Six of Pentacles. This energy is representing, you know, receiving the things that you actually need to receive. For some of you here, this may even look like interdependent help. You know, receiving some type of help in some way, shape, or form that's going to help you reach to the goal that you need to reach or reach to the top. Maybe receiving help from family members to get to this successful moment. But it's telling you you're not alone. You're not alone, Aquarius. But you need to have that discipline, okay, or that mindset to say, you know what, I realize that this situation is not for me. I realize that I need to maneuver in a way that's going to get me to where I need to be. Overall, Aquarius, the, the message here, Aquarius, is it's time for a change. It is time for a change. Two of Pentacles here. Let's look at it from a career standpoint. This energy is representing needing needing to make a decision surrounding some sort of gradual change in your life. Like in a phase of an adjustment is needing to take place here when we see the Two of Pentacles, right? Then we have the, what is this? The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so whenever we see the Wheel of Fortune, this means great transformations taking place in your life. It's telling you that fate is happening here for you needing to accept what is coming right and make the best of that situation right but it does also mean a favorable outcome right even though it's a change that's why i love the wheel of fortune okay we have the justice card and the four of swords here showing up for you in the reverse i feel it's time for you aquarius to take take a chance on you take a chance on the things that is going to absolutely make you happy and bring you the most success in your life and that's whatever that may look like for you Aquarius let's go ahead and um close out with some overall advice but before I do that I'm being told to get two cards from this deck let's see for some of you in your situation, you could be dealing with a Libra here. Uh, for some of you, it could be a Earth sign. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is the message so far. And it doesn't have to be, but I like to call out the signs, right? Let's see what else. Yeah, there's definitely a major change taking place here for you with this major arcana. Two major arcana cards, the Justice and the, the Wheel of Fortune. Things are starting to balance out or will balance out. I feel like you won't even have a say, Aquarius. It's almost like fate is shifting things for you and making a decision here is what the message is. Okay, so we have the Marriage card that came out. And then we have Pleasant Letter. And then we have at the bottom of the deck, Rich Girl. Okay, so this message is surrounding some sort of communication, right? Marriage card here as well. So for some of you here, this could be a marital situation taking place here for you, 
okay? Uh, I feel like for some of you here, it could even be surrounding some sort of commitment. Marriage, is a, it, even though it's a marriage card, the overall energy represents commitment in some way, shape, or form, or some type of legal contract here that's taking place, okay? So I'm seeing there's communication surrounding some sort of commitment, legal contract, um, or even a marriage here for some of you is the message, but it's about actually, it could even be surrounding some type of document. It could be an exam, a test here, but it's showing me that you, you, you come out successful, right? The rich girl energy is representing someone here who is successful, who actually acquires all of the things that they desire in life. So this is a beautiful, beautiful, um, reading Aquarius, what I feel. Okay. I feel like there's a communication of some sort coming in towards you Aquarius that's surrounding commitment, uh, some type of document, some type of, it could be contracts. It could be an exam. It could be a letter, right? But I feel like you're receiving some sort of communication here that is going to surround commitment in some way, shape or form, or having to make a decision, a very, very serious decision Aquarius that is going to shift your life is what I feel, but it's shifting your life in a good way. So I'm going to give you an example. Let's say what's coming towards you is not good, right? It feels bad because it's showing up as endings. It's showing up as having to start over. But what it's telling you here, Aquarius, is fear not, have faith. Because what is actually happening for you is what you cannot see. What's on the other side of this is victory is victory it's telling you here straight straight in front of your face Aquarius okay it's telling you here that you will be successful this is a time for you to actually enjoy this phase of your life is called enjoying self-sufficient not worrying okay putting yourself first things being balanced for you in a good way all right Aquarius let's go ahead and close out with your overall advice for this reading What is the advice you have for Aquarius? What is the advice you have for Aquarius? Okay. All right. There it is. We have thrown. It says your potential. Ooh, see the spirit gods. They just know. They just know what message to give you Aquarius throne okay you see how this person is sitting on her throne she has fire blazing from both hands because what this is saying is she realizes her capabilities and ain't nothing going to stop her ain't nothing going to stop her because her potential is endless and she realizes that you notice how one person sitting on one side with a crown the other person sitting on it's almost like teaming up with all your baddies, right? Or guys, you know, teaming, teaming up with all your kings, right? It's telling you here, you are in your power. You just have to tap into it. All right, Aquarius, I love you guys to the moon and back. Never, never, ever, ever forget you. Despite whatever it is that you're going through in life, put yourself first, right? The potential that you have is endless. Love you guys. Bye.